I said it yesterday. I'll say it again today. Firing Cora is the right thing to do, and they should have done it yesterday. We're going to hear from the ownership group, maybe for the first time, when the Sox host their winter weekend this Friday at MGM Springfield. Now let's shift gears a little bit. Still on topic, but from a different angle. Butch Stearns this morning caught up with an old friend, a familiar voice on the Boston sports scene, who we haven't heard from in a while. I don't think I'm bitter at all. I don't need this job. I like this job. You always job. were bitter. What are you talking about? Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> for many of us, Jerry Callahan was a big part of our daily routines for more than two decades on WEEI. And now he's back. I like the fight. Last week, here at the Legacy Club on Canal Street, right across from the garden, Jerry and his crew launched the brand new Jerry Callahan podcast. And it debuted with a bang. The very first day that we put on an episode, it was number one on Apple's top shows. And Tuesday morning's hot topic, Alex Cora and sign stealing. I can't imagine anyone being in any more trouble than Alex Cora is in now. Alex Cora and the Red Sox sign stealing scandal is the biggest story in sports right now. And according to Jerry, who's lived through Spygate, Deflategate, and every other gate, this is worse. Worse? because we know this led to a world, this led to 108, 19 wins. We know it worked. The worst thing is the commissioner said on September 15th, 2017, no more of this, stop it. And he defied the commissioner just like Brady did in Deflategate, just like Belichick did in Spygate. That's what leads to a punishment that's almost doesn't fit the crime because the crime was sticking your middle finger up to the commissioner. That's what Cora did. Alex Cora is going to end like Casino ended with Joe Pesci, getting a beaten and buried in a shallow grave. You'll never find Alex Cora's uh, body again. In Boston, at the Jerry Callahan podcast, Butch Stearns, Boston 25 News. Many layers to this story, a lot of opinions, obviously, a lot of uncertainty still, where, frankly, there really shouldn't be, from the Red Sox perspective, they're going to be two-time offenders as an organization, and Cora will be a two-time offender as an individual. This is not going to end well for the organization or for Cora, bottom line. No, and he's, expect, yeah, he's expected to be there Friday night at the MGM winter weekend. As of now, yeah. As of right now. And we're weeks away from the start of another season, and yeah. that has to get rolling with people in place. And imagine if they stand by their man, you're going to tell me they're going to get a legitimate managerial candidate to say, like, okay, I'll keep the seat warm for the next however right, long yeah. it is before Alex Cora comes back and takes yeah. the job. None of That's it makes sense. Happen. It just doesn't add up.